of this TRX4 type scenario. And second to last session of me doing uh, videos. I'll wait for people to join in. And um, once people start coming in, we'll talk about a few things and uh, just a few cliff notes that I have to go over with you guys. Alrighty, 57210, what's going on? Traxxas Master, what's happening? Uh, Fat Loser 28, what's going on? Ultimate RC Man, what's going on? My man Joe, what's happening? STVMO01, Mr. Steve from the 313, what's going on? Eli, you should be at Bruckner. <laughs> Dark Knight, what's going on? Dave, uh, David Lee, what's happening? Anyway. So let's go over a few things. RC Steven, what's going on? I'll wait till the two minute marker and then I'll begin. Are you gonna be headed over there in 20 minutes? Yo, I bought all the weights for this. Um, you should definitely check out the video that I ended up doing. Uh, putting on the weights did add on a lot. It was very costly um, from hot racing, but uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Anyway, uh, is the goose loose? No. <laughs> I'm gonna be riding, so can't be drinking. Alrighty, so uh, let's talk about a few things, uh, a few cliff notes. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, where their prizes were. Um, a few of them were sent out, a few of them were not, uh, for the main reason that the person that I have that arranged with sending out stuff uh, did not do that. So I'll be sending it out. Um, I'm off on this Friday, uh, so whoever hasn't gotten their stuff, it will be coming in. I've been sending messages out to you guys uh, about that stuff coming in and stuff like that. So, um, Eunice, what's going on? Hey, Gia, I got my new E-Revo today. I almost bought that thing. Um, is that Constantine? Yeah, hey, Jacob, what's going on? Constantine. Okay, what's going on, Constantine? All right, so... Um, so that's just a cliff note for you guys. Uh, whoever's want stuff, you will, um, I will be contacting you each and every one of each and every person individually that I'm missing. And I will give you the tracking number to the stuff that's coming over there. Um, to a drive for 262. Is that a good deal? No, it is not a good deal. You can go on Craigslist and get a slash. Well, is it, uh, you can get a, a slash on Craigslist two wheel drive for probably 220 bucks. So... Uh, giveaway stuff that I gave away in the last session that I ended up doing. Alrighty, so before I go into the TR TRX4 scenario, uh, the lift kit, I'll just go over my body. I do have a few more decals that I have to put on. Uh, if you guys can see over there, a few other decals that I'm doing. Um, and I ended up doing a brand new body. Uh, I'm murdering it more out, but this is my Run DMC body. You guys were able to see a run video with my. TRX4. I'm really digging the way the color is on this. So, uh, whoever does uh, does do things with their RC, definitely uh, customize it and make it your own. I'll put you here. All right. Next, let's talk about the lift kit. Right. So the lift kit. Uh, I ended up changing out a whole bunch of things. There are a few link pieces that I do have available over here. Um, it does give you a good. Uh, tutorial on how to do this. I mean, it get, I mean, it's not as good as when you, you do the kit, but there's a lot of things that uh, you have to do and you have to watch page by page. But I'll talk about what I had to do when I installed this. So, if you guys were able to see the run video, it does give you a lot more clearance, which was awesome uh, for me. Here's the things that um, that I found once you did the installation. You are going to be changing out all the links. Also, you are going to be changing out the drive shafts. Um, they're going to be giving you different sizes of the drive shafts. Also, for the um, for the lockout the lockout cabling that has to be changed out as well. So you have to uh, take apart the the you have to uh, disconnect the uh, the diff cover and then just reseat it back in and screw those back to the servo as well. Also, when you do the um, when you do the main servo, which is the steering servo. 
you do have to remove the steering servo also you have to remove it from the ESC because the way it mounts it mounts a little bit different it does raise it a little a little higher on that aspect I mean let me see if I could just push this back a little bit and for you guys before the other tire goes up the articulation and the wheel is is bananas right now so um, that is a cool thing that I ended up uh, doing with the upgrade on this uh, lift kit now um, you are getting a lot of parts I mean I'm just gonna put this open for you ah, damn I put you a lot tighter than I expected let me take you out and I'll show you a few things on the lift which right off the bat you'll notice once I take this rim off and we'll see all right so as the rim comes off you're going to notice just the way the length is now if you want to do a side-by-side -side comparison I'll take one of the shocks out of here all right so if you're gonna do a side to side side-by-side -side comparison that's almost at the top almost and the, well, I'll put it from the bottom shock. All right, sorry, this is lining up from the bottom. I don't know if, let me see if I can get this close to the camera. Yeah, all right. So here you go. So this is from the bottom of the shock. As you can see, they're all lined up. Look at the difference, if you could see that. So that's primarily what you're looking at um, in the difference in size of the shock from the stock to the upgraded lift kit. It is definitely a big difference. Now, you guys are probably noticing that I do have weights over here. It did, as of right now, I think the truck is 13 pounds from what I weighed it at. 13 pounds, eight ounces. Now, these, this is the whole uh, kit um, on uh, from Hot Racing. It does give you the uh, one, let me just count how many components are on here. One, two, three, four, four, yeah, so four components that are initially installed uh, to put the weights on. I had to buy two sets of, of this, uh, two for the front and two for the rear. Um, you're able to put everything, everything, you're able to add in more weight. So I got two plates over here that uh, if I want to take one off, which I'm going to do in the rear, I'm going to have more, have, uh, more weight in the front um you're able to bring down and it gives it gives you optional screws for uh length of how many grams you're gonna put on so each one of these plates are 21 grams and i'm not too sure uh this these lower part is 47 grams so you know what i just noticed and i'm not too sure why this happened both hmm why would this happen? I don't think I missed it. This is very interesting. So I'm noticing on both sides, both my bearings are popped out. Why? I have no clue of how they would even pop out. But that means I would have to take this apart. But it's kind of weird. Both bearings are totally popped out. And they shouldn't be. Which is very, very weird. I gotta look into that. Um, also, it's not, it's not, it's definitely not inexpensive to do something like that. Oh man, I have to take all this stuff apart. But, uh, definitely worth the money for you to put weights onto your RC. Uh, most of the guys at the hobby shop, um, ended up, we ended up doing, uh, they ended up building a new track at, uh, Hobby Heroes. So they are very adamant about, you know, upgrading their RCs and everything like that. So, uh, let's go a little bit with what's going on over here. Uh, RC Maximum Badge. That's the expensive lift kit, 175 I got the black one, so it was a little bit more inexpensive. Lift kit G, you know I'm jealous. <laughs> RC Dodge says, mm, haven't heard about that lift kit. What's the thing uh, with the axles won't clear? So it's useless. Um, mm. Steve says, my hobby shop had the lift kits. They're sold out 20 minutes. Yeah, dude, everybody's jumping on this thing real quick. Uh, Edward Fisher, Evening Geo, just got back from the TT. You are terrible. Um, 
I was mad. Uh, once again, hope that could help you come over. Yo, um, they ended up sending me, um, they ended up sending me uh, reservations for TT for next year. So I'm gonna forward that information to you, and you tell me if that's a good deal or not. Um, next, uh, next RC Dodge, and the lift kit also raises the sense of gravity. Uh, I mean, look at look at the video that I did. I mean, it it, it scaled very well on there. Uh, fat loser to AIDS. How much would Traxxas LCG two wheel drive be worth? I'll say tops, tops to um, two forty five. I would say you can go on Craigslist and find that um, immediately for yourself. So two forty five. That's my final bid on that one. So if uh, you can find the cheaper, more power to you. But that's what I'm saying for you to find those out. You know, I'm not too sure why my bearings came out. It shouldn't have come out when I ended up doing this upgrade. But it's kind of a weird scenario. So now that I'm talking about this, I can talk to you about a few other things. Um, you find one for two twenty five. That's a good price. It all depends. Make sure that you know uh, there's not that much rust on the RC. Uh, where is this? Is going to be the second to last live feed. I think the last live feed that I will be doing, it will definitely be uh, a considerable amount of alcohol being indulged. And um, we'll definitely have fun doing that. Um, I would say in the very, very, very near future. And we'll see what happens at that point on, you know. Uh, as you can see, I have to disassemble these uh, this thing is just on a different level of torque. There we go. It's so weird. I don't know why those uh, bearings would fall out. Unless I did something wrong when I did the install. I don't see... Well, it's only on the steering side. So we'll see what happens when I'm there. Anyway. Uh... Let me see, 57210, hey, thinking about uh, top speed for our Rustler or Fortec 2.0, both will be built up. I think the days of the Rustler going fast are dead. Um, I know there's a lot of people that contact me uh, via social media to uh, do the Rustler 100, 100 mile per hour setup. But I think at this point of the game, it's been done for, I think, 10 years now? Uh, no, six years. Six years, I'm sorry. And uh, it has had its time, I'll tell you that much. I've met a lot of people through that rustler. Now i got to take this other weight out, as you guys can see. Uh, well, maybe you can't see. There we go. Give you more of a visual. Uh, I ended up building this at my hobby shop. I did not lock tight anything, which it's a really, really, really bad no-no when you're doing this type of setup. Um, you should always metal on metal, even though this is brass, it's still metal. You should always use lock tight. But I have four bottles at my house, and I was not going to buy another bottle, you know, uh, just for the sake of it, you know. I said, you know, these screws, I have these screws available. So, oh, and also, Hot Racing does give you stainless steel screws for this. So I'm still trying to figure out why this would come out. Nothing pushed up on it for it to come out. That is so weird. It's like totally out of, it's out. Hmm. I don't know what could have happened. We'll find out. We will find out because it's happening on both sides, you know, and I can't, I don't have reference on this side because that's the rear and I can't do nothing about that. But let's try to reference what's initially happening with this side. And you guys can see all the weights. This piece, so um, this piece is 20, it's 72 grams uh, of weight that's on this side. So... All right, so that piece is out. Now I gotta get a whole bunch of those things out of there. And from what it looks like, I probably have to take this wheel off as well. So uh, for you guys, I'm not too sure, but I know internationally, um, 
people were not able to see the Run DMC crawl. Uh, give me a heads up if you guys were able to see the Run DMC uh, crawl with this RC on my last video. Gio wants ribs. I do want ribs. You're in the Libyan desert. <laughs> nice. Well, is it is it nice? <laughs> Anthony Martinez, what's up? All right. So now, the problem with this, um, it is very scale, and I'm pretty sure on the on any of the other RCs, it will be the same scenario that you'll deal with where you have to start, you know, start taking a lot of these screws out, which I have to buy more aluminum uh, for everything to seat in correctly because once you start putting metal onto plastic, it's just not the same, you know? So that's something that I have to look into. Like I said, on a price point, you know, if you do in any scale, I'm talking about even when you're doing with your SCX-10 or your SCX-10-2 or, um, or if you guys are going to get the Vanquish product, you know, Vanquish RC, um, you are going to spend money because on the scale set, I mean, you're trying to make this as real as possible, you know. So you will be spending the money frivolously uh, just to making sure that your thing it looks as scale as possible. And a few, of the, a few other things I need to check out. Uh, when I ended up installing this on my drive shaft, uh, the rear one, maybe maybe I had to install this a little bit differently, but on the rear drive shaft, um, this is not binding, but on the front, I'm binding, which is very frustrating when you're driving around. Um, and for some reason, uh, very stupidly, I had the grub screw that was supposed to be for the um for my spur but for my pinion and my and I didn't mount the when I put the top brace um mounting bracket brace for it I didn't put it back correctly and lo and behold I was um put in a position am I missing I'm almost sure uh to where I stripped out the um I stripped out the spur from the pinion, so when I put it back together, it's just a little bit of noise, not too much, but uh, definitely, definitely, definitely enough to get somebody annoyed. All right, so let's see what's initially transpired. I think I should put more grease into this. So, so it looks like when this component went back in, it pushed everything out. Which is bad. Why would it push it out? There's no reason why this component should have pushed out those bearings. I don't know why it would have done that uh, because it just mounts up the way it does. But let me make sure that I get a hold of this. And when you start doing things like this, that's when more problems, more problems, and more problems happen. Oh, just to give you a heads up, Traxxas is making their stainless steel screws um, available this week. Oh, this is going to be such a headache. So I do know. Oh, uh, another another heads up. Let me see. What servo? What servo am I running? I will be running the Savox servo, the twelve ten. I think it's it's called. That is the servo I'm going to run. Um, I've had much success with the twelve ten. I have much success with the twelve eleven. So I'm going to stick with what works. And why not? Lo and behold, I cannot get to this component. <sighs> this is bad. Because what it's asking me to do, why in the hell would the bearing come out? And if I try to go in through here, I'm 
see if enough articulation happens to where I'm able to get the Mess with it. I think this is gonna have to cut. No, I can't do it either because either which way it has to separate there. That's stupid because if you have to take this apart, you have to take this out. Oh god. Let me just see what this bearing's happening. It's not letting me close it up. That's why. Alright, so I found the issue. Now will it stay there? The question is, what holds that together? I don't know. I mean, it popped out, but I don't know what holds those components together. It shouldn't be anything else. I don't know what holds that bearing into place, which is weird. No. Because no matter what you turn, it's still gonna pop back out, right? I would guess so. So I'm pushing this in and when the cover goes back in will it push it back out is the question I don't know we're gonna have to put this together and see how it goes somebody asked me on a message you know how was I able to get run DMC on my video and it seems like when iTunes sets you up with music, you're not able to put that, you know, whatever protected music that you have on there. So I did the next best thing. I, um, I just put the microphone of the phone onto the, uh, onto the, uh, radio. I just did it like that. so weird it looks like it can pop at any time let me just put the two longer screws inside just for it to set in place it, this is going to be a little bit tricky uh when you do install these weights because when i started looking at how to install them it was kind of like a weird scenario because i have to install these two right here which are the two longest ones there's three weights on this side and three weights on that side which you know definitely takes care of the rest of the cover piece but then you have to look at the other um, the other weights that have to be attached, and that's where you you'll end up in problems because you won't know where it goes. So now when you got when you do these weights, there's different settings right here to where you're able to change the way the weight is uh, on the RC. So basically, I have it set this way. So when it's going downhill or uphill, it, it's I mean you could you could basically put it towards 50 but I try to go uh, curve it up a little bit more just to have that uh, ready for me when I started crawling and I did have to lock out the front when I got stuck at one point then I had to lock out the rear when I got stuck at another point you know well, at the same point all right so this bearing won't go in because everything is not playing nicely with it and judging by what I'm looking at, you have to be fucking kidding me. I lost the screw. Or did I? It says on the other side. I lost a pin. Yep. I think I lost that pin. And if I lost the pin, then I'm so and then I'm then I'm to I'm I'm screwed. Because then I can't drive this. Because it won't it will just start shredding up on the insides. And the, and the silly part is I can't even look at it inside. So it looks like the pin is gone. Oh, to find that pin again will be hellacious. But you gotta do what you gotta do.
Anyway, we'll see what you guys are saying. Uh, Gio, uh, that's how I get my ghetto uploading the music. <laughs> um, that's my RC. He definitely needs that LCG battery tray. Uh, I told him about it uh, the other day. That's my RC. I'm going to get uh, this Bronco and uh, whatever, shiznit out of it. That's my RC style. Uh, 57210, Geo, I think I used up those tools you gave almost every day since uh, I got them in the mail. Seriously, I can't thank you enough for them. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, that's sweet. My pops had a K5 when it was younger. Okay, uh, instead of a Bronco. Oh. All right, so here's where my dilemma is. If I lost that pin, I don't know what... Now, Steve, you told me that most likely the pin you were able to get from somewhere else. I'm hoping that in one of my RC packages that I have over here, I have that pin. Because if I don't, then this RC is out of commission until I get that pin. And that will totally suck for me. Because I wouldn't know. I don't know what to do. You know, with that. To my Florida people. Just to give you guys a heads up in Florida, I will be in Florida on Sunday. I'm meeting up with my boy MTC Tookie 25. And uh, we will be meeting up. He wants me to bring one of my RCs. I said I'd bring the Rustler. So that's what I'm planning to do. I'm planning to bring my Rustler out to Florida. Will I drive it? Most likely not. Because, like I said, I can't get any parts for that. So kind of SOL with that oh man I lost that pin and I don't know why those bearings are out there it's those bearings shouldn't there's no reason why these bearings should have popped out for any reason you know and they did they popped out of the steering which puts me in a worried mood because if that's going on with that then I'm in a position to where I can't do anything at this point. So let me take off the last screws over here and get this thing going. Oh, and if you guys own an SCX-10, this thing is way bigger than the SCX-10. And this is a shorter wheelbase than, um, than the tactical or the Land Rover so you can just imagine how this thing is so much bigger I have the SCX-10 on the floor in front of me I was going to take a few components off of there and put them onto here but I never really do that with RC's you know whatever my RC has um, oh here's a good discussion for you guys I ended up getting the wood grain um, here's the wood grain that ended up coming uh, in the mail made by the made in the USA I got it off eBay uh, the name of the company, Ultra Decals, uh, Printed Vinyl Decal. And this is primarily it, what I got. So that came in the mail, which is a cool thing that I ended up getting um, for another body, which I'm going to be doing very soon. And for some reason, this was bad, and I guess they had to replace it with that. So that came in the mail, and also something else came in the mail. Huh. Oh, my RC Spark Studio stickers. Those came in the mail. I'll show you guys that later on. Um, he was selling these decals from his uh, RC channel. And he ended up uh, selling them on eBay. And I definitely had to get a set. I'm definitely a support, great supporter of uh, the RC Spark Studios. Um, unlike, unlike myself, that is a business um, that he has. Uh, Aaron, his wife. And his son uh, Maurice, so or AKA Mo. So you're looking when you see his son, you know he's he's the, the heir to the um, RC Spark Studios RC Adventures Empire. So he ended up doing a few videos with his son, which is a cool thing. Break him into that. So oh man, please let the pin be somewhere stuck in there because if it's not then it's game over and I have to go into all my RCs and look 
to see if the pin is there. Now, what the pin that I'm talking about, it's the pin that connects the drive shaft to the um, to your wheel hex shaft. And if I don't have that, then I am like in a bad scenario because the car is really undrivable and how that thing would have popped out I have no clue maybe in the rush of me doing it the other day I ended up uh, losing it I don't know uh, I did I did try to rush this thing uh, just to get the, the weight on there and it could have happened like that I don't know so now that I'm taking this apart let's pop this open okay that's out and let's see what's in this we have in here. Okay. I can't really see it. Where is that pen? I can't even. Let me see if I can rotate this thing. Aha! The pin is still in there. The pin is still now. This is the pen that I'm talking about. Maybe I can zoom in on you guys. And the pin, if you guys can see that, I'm not too sure if you can, but that bearing goes over that pin. Why would it pop out? I have no idea. Maybe when I installed this, I popped it, you know, I did it incorrectly. I don't know. It could have been done. I'm trying to push this back in here so I could see the bearing up again I'm probably gonna have to do this off camera hold on alrighty so now that I got that back in it's flush again but I'll definitely keep a lookout on this to see what's going on uh, with that. So, as I pop this back in, let me just make sure that this doesn't pop back out. Slide you back here. Okay. Let's see if the bearing stayed in place. Something is wrong. That should not have ever happened. I don't know. Let me just uh I'm very baffled. I'll get to your I'll get to your statements in a few minutes. I'm trying to put these two screws back in so I know what needs to be done uh, with this. should be coming out so all right what are you guys saying what are you guys saying yeah gee i need to send i need to send you your boys some rc spark stickers <laughs> rc stevens i got the stickers also excellent he, he packages them but really nicely geo look at my comment in the pin look at my comment in the pin oh, i don't know what the hell you wrote i know exactly i had the same issue yeah, it popped out to you. Now, did, it, did you resolve the issue? Um, I thought you could get white RPM parts for the Rustler and dye them. They do not sell any white RPM parts. Uh, cryptic custom RCs. And not for the Rustler, anyway. Steve313. Uh, you, have, you have one on your two-wheel drive Traxxas. Uh, take it from the slipper clutch assembly. 
Even the top drive shafts. Ah, nice. Thank you. Chevy, ah, Chevy, uh, Chevy man, VC. Uh, I use the pins to, um, I use to build my pins out of stainless steel wire. Oh. Um, Gio, you're a car. <laughs> no. Uh, that's Marcy. Uh, put some solid brass, 10 millimeter brass, 12 hex. Uh, I ended up looking up that. Um, they're going to be, they're going to be sticking out a little bit more. They are going to be brass. Um, it's probably going to be that size. Um, 57210, you've helped me make a decision. Uh, I'm going to turn my Rusty into a basher and buy a Fortec 2.0. That'd be a cool thing. Yo, I'm running out of money, guys. <laughs> That's my RC. I roll a, uh, I roll a fatter, like, tricky, uh, thicky trick. What? Uh, That's my RC. There goes the servo laughing out loud. Steve, that thing's going to be, that thing's going to be a pig. Yeah, dude, this thing, the weight on this. Now, just on, like I said, just on one side, I already have 47 grams on this one side. And then the other side has another 47 grams. And then these are two each side that I have them set up on. And these are 21 grams each. And that's for each to each side so that's 42 grams each side as well and then you have these which are 72 grams of brass so i hate the servo i learned um when i started doing uh the when i started doing that crawl that the servo was giving me issues um when there was at one point it just wouldn't articulate the way I wanted it to. It would just lock in and it wouldn't turn it. So a different servo, kind of like, let me see what's on this. I think on this, on this right here, I, which one is this? I think I messed up and I put one and one and one and the other. No, this is right. This is the 1210 Savox servo, which I don't know if you guys can even see that. I guess put more light here. Huh? Um, 1210 Savox servo. So this is going to be the same server that I'm going to be running um, on there. So I already customized this thing. I got a, I got a brand new body in the top, and I've never done it. It's somewhere up there. God knows. And you guys know about bodies. You know these these bodies ain't cheap, and I'm not doing nothing with them. So who knows? I was thinking about selling the whole channel for like twenty five thousand. Edward, did you get the price on the shipping of your big? Don't know. Uh, brownouts? Nah, I mean, the brownouts for this Traxxas um, ended up hooking me up with these. Uh, now, nah, these are nice. I'm going to be honest with you. They're better than any uh, um, cat pack that I've ever seen. And this is from Traxxas, and these things are dope. Never had a brownout as of yet. And I ended up installing this into my uh, UDR over there. So, no issues with that, and that got lost somewhere. Oh, and here's another thing. Oh, snap, I didn't damage this. No, I didn't. Yeah, possibly I did. I got all these decals, the gold and the uh, red as well. So I have the golden red. And I got the wood, so I can do whatever I want with the new body. Um, that'll come very soon on that. Shipping, shipping on your bike. Oh, um, I don't think I can get my bike down there. I'd have to rent the bike. Yep, I'd have to rent I would have to rent the bike when I got there and um, just for me to ship my bike overseas, it would cost me round trip. And that's if I even get my bike back, it'd be around $3,000 from what I understand, you know, 
And don't get me wrong, it's like a, a lifetime, uh, a dream, uh, a ride, an event of a lifetime for me, but you know, the trip itself from what I'm looking at, the package that they, they were giving me is around 30, like fourth, almost $4,000 for the week. So for me to invest in something, you know, I have to rent the bike out there. So that's something that I'll be talking about with you um, to see what, what companies are out there where I could rent something. Oh, I can't even put these things in yet. So... Did you see Chris use update? Did you see Chris use update? Um, as in what? His new update? I don't know if what Chris would have bought. Um, usually, usually when I mean, if you're talking about Chris from Everyday RC, usually he calls me up <laughs> before he buys something. He'll be like, "Yo, I'm about to pick this up," so you know we. Oh snap, I need to get the... No, I'll wait about that later. I'll lock that up later once I get these metal parts in. I'm not too worried about it. So. Is there anybody going to um, be in the Jacksonville... Florida area uh, I will be there Monday I think I'm going to be bringing I don't know what I'm going to be bringing I was thinking about bringing this but just imagine the headache I have to go in with um, with dealing with these people uh, from TSA you know they're probably wondering what the hell is that that I'm bringing onto the plane and they'll give me the business. So, oh man, I'm changing out that servo as fast as possible. I have another Savox servo, which is not waterproof. I think it's 250 pounds, 250 ounces of torque. I'll probably just change that out for now since I have it available for me. Then I'll just, you know, have that set up because this, this is just, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that Traxxas ended up um investing in putting metal gears on their rcs but it's definitely not you know definitely not um strong enough for this type of uh rig that's on here right now so oh and today uh just a little bit of rc news for you the traxxas method wheels came out today my hobby shop should have them in and i will have them into my rc Angel, what's going on? Oh, this is disc rotors. Trailing arms, disc rotors. Chris up there. Okay, let me see. Edward Fisher says, oh my God, you could buy a cheap bike in Sheeran, Texas, in the TT. Sell it after you sell it. <laughs> you need to tell me what I need to do at the TT because I'm doing a lot of videos when I'm out there. I got one friend who was interested in going to the TT. But, you know, you always have that one friend that just doesn't have money. And that's him. <laughs> good guy. Good guy, though. Um, if you guys ever watch my Hotness Busted videos, uh, just type in Hotness Busted on YouTube. And he has a green motorcycle. And I always cracked on him for having that, like, dumpy bike. <laughs> so, once I did a video with him in it, he was none too happy. <laughs> it was very funny. It was very funny. It was, uh... It was one of the first hotness busted videos that I ever did, and then I I just started making a segment of hotness and busted uh, with that. So as you can see, this part I had to screw in from the back, um, so that added the weight. Now, when you do screw these components, okay, into the side, primarily they give you the option of screws. If you just want to use one disc or if you want to use both you know and they give you option optional lengths lengths of this so and it's all stainless steel so I'm gonna put you in the oh, how did I do this I'm gonna put you down and I'll put you like 
this. I think that's the correct way. Yep. Screw down. Try to get it into the. Get a screw. I'll pop that bad boy in there right there. I could section out anywhere I want, but that's where I want it to be. Tighten you up. Like I know, you guys are going to tell me that I didn't put the Loctite in. I don't think I should as of right now because I will be getting aluminum components very soon. Very, very soon. Lewis LPRCs, what's going on? And that was a cot okay, Edward Fisher said that was a cottage in spend funds of fuel, etc. Uh he he it cost me this year under one uh one thousand pounds. Oh, you're one thousand euro. So that was probably thirteen hundred dollars US. Countryside reader control. Hey uh hi G. Uh did you know exclusive RC? have carbon nano rear trailing arms for the UDR. Any good, you think? Carbon nano rear trailing arms? Look, um, those rear components do take a beating. Uh, if you guys were able to ever, ever able to see a video that Chris, uh, Chris from Everyday RC posted, which you guys Never get to see me run my rigs, and he wanted to film it, so I said, film it. I'm, so I want to play. Um, those things do take a beating. You know, they, you know, you have to look at, I can do this backwards. Hopefully I can turn that. I gotta turn it right now. Um, carbon fiber is strong, but after a while, it will fray for the reason that you are, the 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 strength of it is there you know it is there but a lot of debris does hit that does hit those arms so eventually what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a scenario where the carbon is going to start having fatigue points and once that ends up happening then you know what do you do you're kind of in a scenario where your rc is going to be um you know hurt and those carbon fiber pieces are not cheap. So, not to say they won't hold up. I mean, I definitely won't say they won't they won't hold up, but you got to look at the long term. Push it back. Okay. Let's get tight this all the way down. Make sure you don't come out of nowhere. Bam. All right. So, this is what it looks like. It's a lot of weight. I have that in the rear. You know, I'm going to be building up the other one as well. But that's what it's looking like. These are going to be extended out. I want my wheelbase to be out more. Uh, aluminum parts are going to be going everywhere. Uh, the lighting kit I have to get. And then I believe Trax is coming out with their Bronco lighting kit, which should be very, very, very soon. Um, very soon, from what I understand. Let me see. I put, uh, Lewis LPRC says, I put the video up for the Pit Dog Hydro body for the X-Max. Nice. Edward Fisher's, yeah, that's, uh, that's pounds, but you can pick it up early. Uh, a ZX7R, yeah, I, a seven though. I, I've only dealt with thousands. <laughs> I'll probably get, put, I, I really... I'm dying to hit that track. And who knows? Geostar thought one might be dead by the time he goes to the Isle of Man. You know? By the time I get there, I'll come back in a body bag. Ah, that place has a history of people dying. You know? And knowing the way I ride, who knows? I'll end up splat. Or, like, um, you know, the one person I respect the most out of there. I mean, I love Guy Martin. Um, McGinnis is great. You know? But, uh, I definitely, I definitely want to see McGinnis. 
just to be out there. And sometimes you have the MotoGP guys going to check out the tracks and the races and stuff like that. So, okay, where are we? Uh, Marco Polo says, "What's up, Gio? Um, awesome crawling vid, bro. I love the body, and all you need is some Adidas. Yo, I am put, I am putting Adidas uh, logos on there. So, um, let me see." For dog one two three geo fly over uh to axel fest 2018 i'm pretty sure axio will not be happy to see this rc coming over there because this has taken a lot of money out of axio um now here's here's the thing and if for people who like arma i'm gonna um this video is you'll probably say i'm pro tracks that's why i'm saying it but i'm gonna be I'm gonna, let's not talk about the realism of stuff i've always said arma has made you know very 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 strong rcs you know that uh with the steel drive shafts a lot of things that they give you right off the bat uh definitely a cool you know cool setup what they're doing right now but uh this thing is bogus why is this thing missing screws it is missing screws how in the hell are you even on Wow, this thing came in with bumpers. Ah, oh, that's what those two screws were for. Okay. All right. I was wondering what those screws that they gave me for the body were for, and now I found out they didn't assemble the bumper totally. So give me one second. I'm going to do these last two, these three screws off camera because I have to get, I want to get this done. And I'm sweating and I don't have the AC on, so. And I'll get to your statements in a few. A few people um, that watch my channel um, see these live feeds that I do, and they're like, yo, your live feeds are too long. And I say, what do you mean? Because like, well, dude, one time I saw it was like, you know, an hour and a half, one hour. And I said, look, that's what the live feeds are for. You know, conversational piece for you guys to give me your opinion of stuff that's out there. And also for me to come across and tell you the things that I found out with the, with the RC things that I've encountered with out there. So that being said, you got to look at, you know, it, you got to look at it from two different standards, you know, and I have to look for these screws. Okay. Where are we at? Um, this thing came with two extra screws and I did not, I kind of tossed them. What are these screws for? Oh wait, is this it? Aha, uh -huh. here we go. These two screws came in with my uh, rig. And I don't know what they were for, and it's because they didn't put the bumper, but the bumper was already attached. Which I don't understand. I don't get it. Why would they put these in a separate bag? I think it's just a waste. It should have it was already attached to the bumper itself. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. But let's make sure. Um, I'm getting my wheels tomorrow. No, Friday. I think I'm going to get them Friday. The method wheels. Let me see. Right. Are they supposed to go from the bottom up? Or from the top? I think it goes from the... Yeah. So you have to put these two screws in from the bottom. All right, DAEJ312, hey Gio, what do you think about TFL, uh, full metal axles? I have not tried them. 57210, I enjoy the long live streams, laughing out loud. They kind of keep us posted on what's happening. Well, I'm glad you enjoy that. Edward Fisher says, yeah, your best your best time is to go practice on the practice week, not race week. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, you have to... From early morning, five o'clock, track days and wait, wait, ride track wear. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot more stuff. I have to freaking bearing. And the rest. Now, do you? Now, here's a question: Do you camp? I mean, that's that's the package I think I saw. <laughs> Which camping? Let me get these screws in. Yeah, I believe you have to screw it from the bottom. And I can't wait for my. I gotta call up my hobby guy, find out where the stainless steel screw kit is, so I have that available. 
And here's an interesting note. Uh, a lot of um, people who bought the Ford Bronco edition uh, pointed something out to me that was kind of weird. And the people that got the kit edition um, would notice, would not even notice this. But the Ford Bronco edition, um, and not, not even the Ford Bronco edition, mostly all of the, the TRX-4s. Now, when you're building the kit, you'll notice that there are two screws here and two screws here. On the ready to run, it only gives you one screw, which is the weirdest thing. I don't understand why they did that, but that's what Traxxas did. They ended up um, uh, integrating it like that, which I thought was kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is. All right, we're almost done. And like I said, when I was building this at the hobby shop, first of all, when I started building the, um, something has to be done with this. I think I connected something wrong. I must have connected something wrong. Because over here is binding. Bogus. I'll get it. Excellent. Uh, 57210, my Defender has two on both. Oh, let me see. Edward Fisher, I had a cottage uh, this year before I camped. I'll look it up. Uh, send me an e Edward, send me an email. Because we definitely, uh, you know, I definitely need to make a, a rash decision on getting my uh, everything booked. Because I need to... Uh, embark on the next chapter in my life of what I'm going to be doing as in traveling and stuff like that. The one thing one thing you guys don't really know about me is that when I start going into something, I go into it pretty buck wild. Um, when I used to do mountain bike riding, I was very much into that and didn't think of anything else. Motorcycle riding, um, I've been into that since I was young. Um, RC, I think I'm about to make six and a half years or seven years doing RCs. Um, you won't screw in. Oh, there you go. Um, I collect a lot of Blu rays and stuff like that, so you know, I'm very much into movies. Oh, that server was going today, no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind that server was gone today. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna. Here's my opinion of when you put these last two components on there. Put on your hex immediately because then you don't have to go and start positioning stuff, which I had to do that beforehand and I had to turn the wheel. At least now I'll do this freehand and I don't have to start positioning anything uh, with that. And they're pretty much making everything in brass. The only problem with brass, uh, there are brass cleaners out there, which is a good thing, you know. Uh, but these start, after time, they start getting dull and dingy. But, like I said, there are brass cleaners out there for you to um, have nice brass components <laughs> when you're doing this. So, if I remember correctly... I need this to go onto the top screw, to, to the top hole. Screw you a little bit in. And I got that for the bottom hole. Slip you over again and start putting the wheels down. Now, I was going to use what I was thinking about using since I was since this system is going 2.2, I was going to use these, but these are too big, you know. Uh, the 2.2 rims are good, but these Super Swamper XLs 
are way too big for this RC. Way, way too big. It kind of it doesn't look at scale anyway. Uh, Steve, uh, RC Steven, ice cream truck in the background, laughing out loud. Yeah, you see that all the time. Edward, there's only uh, one thing with a TT. Uh, once you go every year, it's the biggest buzz. Oh yeah, dude. That's why. That's why when I go, I'm going hardcore. You know. But once I get there, you know, at least you know about it. You know, you'll be able to tell me the do's and don'ts of when I do do that. Um, but I see, uh, physically, I see myself um, not doing a lot of things anymore um, because I did develop um, spinal, no, uh, degenerative disc, um, degenerative disc disease. And we'll see. I'm just a ticking time bomb before I start breaking apart. You know, I used to bust on, um, what's his name? Uh, Dr. Cup the Carpo was having back issues. And now, there it is. I'm screwed. <laughs> I am screwed. Get this last wheel on there. All right. All my bearings still inside. The bearings still look, still look like they're inside. I mean, look at that. I just want you to see that type of articulation on there. I mean, it's it's supposed to pull it up as much as the wheel is, and that's just outrageous, you know. So definitely worth the money. That this thing gets scratched up really quickly, so that's annoying. I'm gonna plastic dip that real quick. Nader. Uh, Nader, hi, how are you? You are doing a great job. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Rob, what's going on, Rob? I like the Bronco. Nice. Ah, thanks, man. Thanks. There's, there, you know, if you guys know, I do customize my RCs to have my own personality and stuff like that. Um, I think this is the second to last video I'm doing. Um, once it's this update and, uh, and then the last thing that I'm going to be doing is um, a drinking video, uh, which I will not, which only people that check it out um, get to see it because usually when I do, um, when the goose is loose, no one, uh, no one gets to see these type of videos happening, you know, because I try to make this channel as PG as possible. So let me see there the front. There you go. So if I put this this right here, I just want you to see the uh, the size in that. Now if I have to do a size comparison, um, Derek, oh Big Mac, what's going on? You demand thanks, man. What kind of shock oil did you use? I ended up using the 35, 32 point whatever weight that came with it. Uh, I am going to be putting probably 20 weight inside the RC. Eli, what's going on? All right, so what's the difference? All right, I'll give you a tool test. Anybody who owns the MIP tools, you'll know the size of these MIP tools. And that's primarily what you're looking at on the clearance of the top of the tool to that. Well, you know what, even a better scenario. Everybody, has a Traxxas remote. And you guys know what the Traxxas remotes are. Now, if I put this alongside the bottom of this, it reaches right here. That's the clearance that you have. So that's what you're looking at. If I'm looking at today, yeah. So it's right, it's right around here, you know. So you'll see with the extended um, arm, with the extended shocks and the links and all that other stuff, you'll see how much more of a ride height that you have on this. So that will give you a cross reference <clears throat> of how much higher it is uh, than your regular stop one. Now, if I bring this up a little bit higher, fully extended out. If I fully extend it out, I'm on to the top of it. So. 
and that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this event. Uh, the next time you guys see me, I will be A, having a lot more stuff on this rig. B, I'll show you the sound audio on that rig. Uh, C, uh, I'm going to um, just shut it down, you know, and uh, I'll shoot a few videos um, to where you'll see the things that I'm doing and stuff like that. And mostly you're going to be checking up stuff on Instagram and stuff like that. But, you know, um, yeah, that's primarily what the way it's going to go down. So uh, hopefully you guys were able to enjoy this video. Uh, if you did like the content, give me, give me a thumbs up. It does help out syndicate the channel a little bit more. And uh, if you guys are looking for me to do anything other than what I'm doing right now, give me a heads up of what type of upgrades you think I should get on my RCs. Uh, for Lewis LPRCs, I ended up ordering the Chrome Discs for the uh, Fortech and uh, for the UDR. Uh, for... What else? Oh, and I'm going to be doing a boat video, so... Anyway, glad you guys were able to stop by. Uh, later, Steve. Uh, let me see. Paint it white for the OJ. See, the only, the only reason about painting it as the OJ, um, the OJ truck was a little bit different than what this truck was. Uh, I believe the OJ truck was a 1985 Bronco, so it had a different body scheme. Uh, initially, I was going to paint it like brown or cream and put my wood my wood vinyl on the side of it you know making like those old 80s station wagons and stuff like that and you know uh, i wasn't you know i could have done that or i was going to paint the the rc yellow and make it all the orange and yellow or make it white and make it a fire truck so there's so many things that ramble through this brain of mine who knows you know uh i was soldering and listening i'm still there all right DJ Push looks good. Yeah, thanks, man. You know, this is my run DMC. Um, I'm going to get a, uh, a Jam Master J uh, decal for the back. Um, definitely much props to Jam Master J. He passed away uh, in Queens. Uh, I believe he was murdered. So, um, let me see. Letters. Angel says... Would the one uh, one ten scale summit be good for the course at your hobby shop? They would not accept uh, a one ten scale summit at the hobby shop. It was just you know I mean they're, they they won't even accept the the uh, rock ratio that I have here. You know it's just they won't do it. You know if you guys ever seen the rock racer one ten scale? I know haters will hate. And there's another one of those servos, and I believe that's the faster servo the 12 yeah and this this has more so much vanquish on it it's disgusting uh rough skills nice woods uh rc steven have a great night take it easy you on facebook no no not facebook definitely not um if anybody's ever interested in buying my yeti xl it's pretty much brand new um I try to do a really good price on it. I just want to get parts for my RC, or I would trade up for a uh, Sony Sony receiver or Sony Shake. You know, um, yeah, I would trade up for that. A nice, either the Sony three thousand ES receiver or a Sony Shake. If you guys don't know what Sony Shakes are, it's the twenty four hundred. I would either do the twenty four hundred watt or the three thousand watt, which that down there is a Sony Shake. So, all righty. So, uh, as I just hit the 69 minute, um, thank you very much for joining the session. Um, I might do something tonight. Uh, it all depends uh, on how it works out, but we'll see what goes. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and to our friends up on YouTube. Later.